Hi, this is Craig Schmehel with the SAP Developer Center here in SAP Tech Ed in Las Vegas in 2012, and I'm here together with Michael Fisher. Thank Welcome. You. Welcome. Thank it's been you for a, me. it's gonna been an amazing week for you, hasn't it? It's been a wonderful week. Yeah. A lot of energy, a lot of excitement. People are excited about the thing I presented, and it's been a lot of fun. Cool. Um, so let me ask you a question. Exactly, who is it that you are that that brought you here? I mean, what do you do? I mean, are so, you are you a, a, a developer? Are you a business guy? I mean, what are you? I'm a student. Uh, I'm doing a PhD at Stanford in computer science. Okay. And the reason I'm here is I found out about, I was at the TechCrunch Hackathon in San Francisco uh, about a month ago. And then I saw there was some people from SAP HANA there, um, Ann Hardy's group. And I learned about SAP HANA. And I, then there was also this other thing from the Department of Energy called the Green Button Initiative, and I saw this Green Button Initiative, and I saw the SAP HANA in-memory database, and for those people watching here, the Green Button Initiative is a standardized way for people to access their informa information from their home energy, uh, from their energy meter, so that they can see okay. how much energy they're using at home. And I thought it'd be really neat to build a Mint.com, which is sort of a, a way to track your finances, except instead of for money, build it for energy. So Makes that was sense. What the cool. Hackathon project was just to build a Mint.com for home energy at this 24-hour hackathon in San Francisco using SAP HANA and this Green Button Initiative, and that won um, a prize from SA from SAP, and it also won a prize from the Department of Energy in the White House. So, but the prize for the um, SAP was to come to Las Vegas Tech Ed, and then I got. So that's why I'm here. Awesome. Now, had you ever done anything with SAP stuff before, or was this your first exposure? I, I was. I heard. I knew of SAP. This is my first time on developing on top of SAP and learning about how to do it. You know, searching around, finding SCN, finding some blog posts about it, figuring out some of the details about the technical implementations about how things are done. And once I was able to do that, I was able to configure a lot of this stuff and get it working. Now, did you just hit Google to find this stuff, or I mean, what, where were you finding most of your information? Well. Yeah, so Google and then that directed me to some, most of the stuff on SCN and then some stuff on Stack yeah. Overflow. Okay, so so for everybody out there, developer.sap.com, which is actually part of SCN, and you'll find it within SCN as well. So if you go to scn.sap.com or just sdn at sap.com, so a whole way, a lot of ways to get there, a lot of good information there. Um, you know, in 2003, I started in the SAP world, and my first response after I walked out of my CIO's office when he said, you're going to go do SAP, I walked out saying, okay, I just agreed to that, but what is it? So, I mean, when, when a lot of people, you said you've heard of SAP before, had you thought of SAP in, in terms of development, or was this just some big company? Uh, I think I'd used a lot of products that were built yeah. on top of it. Okay. That was my main interaction with it. I, hadn't, I didn't know about the different programming languages had to offer yet. Oh, okay. So, a lot of new things for you. Yeah, it was good to get experience into other types, you know, to broaden my horizons about, you know, not just about one type of set of programming languages, but to also go into different sets of programming languages that I really wasn't familiar with. Oh, very cool. But otherwise, wouldn't have been familiar with. So, this week here at TechEd, what have you done? So, this... For, I was just yesterday, it was the demo jam. So I took the hack that I did for the hackathon in San Francisco, and I, after using it a little bit, I became really, I thought it was, I used it a lot. And I wanted to, there was a piece that was missing from it though. Okay. And I wanted to extend, I wanted to take, extend it a little bit. So I built a piece of hardware. And this is what I you, call. You built a socket. I built, <laughs> it's, it's actually not a socket. This is actually a computer that happens to look like a socket. Really? So it connects to the internet, actually. And you can turn devices on and off using your computer. So it's not now it's not only about measuring how much energy you're using in your house. Now you can actually control how much energy you're using in your house. And I put up a little website about it if anyone's interested. It's mrpower.me, so M-R-P-W-E-R. Dot ME, and there's a little bit more information there about it. But it allows you to control your appliances like this Christmas tree. So you, what, you, what you do is you plug it into the wall, you plug it into the internet, and then you can start controlling your appliances. So you're no longer just passively watching how much electricity you're using. You're actually able to control how much electricity you're using. Very nice. I, it just—it looks like a socket. I mean, it's just, but, but, it, it, but what you don't see here is—is is there? It's a—it's a. It's a is it RJ45? It's or an no? Ethernet cable. Ethernet, yeah. cable. Ethernet cable jack. 
and um, I mean, it's impressive. I mean, what did you put inside it? I mean, is it a gum stick or? No, I built a, a full computer. There's a networking stack. Um, there's chips to do networking. There's chips to do, <laughs> yeah. So it's a full computer. You plug it in and it, there's, there's a CPU in here. There's electrical stuff. There's a power supply. It, that's why it's a full computer that just happens to look like a power outlet. It's nice. much more computer than it is com power outlet. Wow. Very yeah. impressive. It's, Very it's impressive. It's masquerading as a power It's outlet. masquerading. Yeah. So you did the demo jam. Yes. How'd you do in that? I have, uh, third. Third. Yes. Third place in that. It was tough competition. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, and, you know, for somebody that had not been in the SAP world, impressive that you went up there. Thank you. You know, in front of all those people. I used to host it as well, so I know the stress and the, the nerves backstage, but impressive for your first time at a Tech Ed event and the first time on stage at a Demo Jam. Thank you. You were also on SAP Tech Ed Live. Oh, yes. And you were also at the Inno Jam, right? Inno Jam. You built something there too, didn't you? I built, yeah, I built some hacks there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's just, uh, it's just amazing. And then actually, your, your, your friends as well that interviewed the first day. Oh, that's right. You were on J you're going to be on JDOD as well. Um, can we throw anything else at you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's next for you? I mean, are you going to, I mean, with the, you said you also got something from uh, the White House for the energy thing, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you going to be heading out there too? Or? Yeah, um, I think that they posted, they, they recently, just the other day, posted a blog entry on, um, on, their, white, on their blog. Oh, okay. And they tweeted about it as well. And, oh, very nice. Yeah, so there's a blog entry about uh, the hack. So with all this newfound fame that you have, are you going to be able to finish your PhD or are you just going to be bombarded by people saying, let's talk. I mean, this is amazing stuff. And that the fact that you put it together all so quickly and so easily, I mean, you make it look easy. Um, I'm sure, I mean, well, part of it is easy, but I'm sure other parts are a little bit more difficult than people think like this. Um, I mean, this is this is really exciting, actually. I'm, this is I'm really excited. cool. I'm, I'm, I'm really this. I'm geeked about this one. This yeah. is kind of cool. I, I kind of want you to pop the top so I can look inside. But um, <laughs> this is this is this is tech ed, guys. This is how developers work. So, oh, oh <laughs> it's another one. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Maybe maybe at another time. Oh, there we go. This is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, nice. There's a couple different models. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Thank you. So, I mean, it, it, to me it sounds like your sky's the limit for you. I mean, what do you really want to do next? I mean, what's next for you? I mean, I'm assuming you're going to go back and finish up your studies and focus on that. But, I mean, are we talking entrepreneurship? Are you looking for big companies? What, what's in it? Uh, still... Undecided. undecided undecided okay well folks there you, there you go that's the perfect way to do it folks there you have it live from here at sap tech ed in las vegas michael fisher thank you very much thank you, thank you fantastic job on everything and good luck in the future thank you all right